Gosh, I don't know how to do this anymore. Huh. Let's just sit down. We'll just. Let's just, let's just <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Welcome to, honestly, my first vlog in a long while. So, we're gonna take a minute to talk. Let's talk for a second. So, when I started my channel, I actually originally started to vlog. That is what I wanted to do with my channel, is just kind of vlog my life, make little mini movies out of my days and life. And then, you know, it, it progressed, it changed, and it definitely became a little more of a Scooby-Doo channel, which I've loved, I've enjoyed. I really, obviously enjoy doing that because it's Scooby-Doo, I love Scooby-Doo. But if you guys haven't been following me, haven't been watching any of my more recent videos, uh, I'm kind of going through a time where I'm trying to rediscover myself and know what I want and really become who I want to be and what I feel is me. You know, that's why I came out recently to really feel myself. And I just haven't had really an enthusiasm to create content anymore. You know, I haven't wanted to really sit down and do videos. So, uh, you know, I with some discussions and thinking it over with myself, kind of thought, let's try vlogging again. Let's just try vlogging life adventures because these past few months, honestly, I could have had oodles amount of content with what's been going on in my life. Uh, so that's, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna slow down, kind of put some, uh, of the Scooby content, some of the other types of content on the back burner. So I apologize if that's what you guys are here for. Just know I'm not totally taking that out of my channel. I am just going to kind of put those as a secondary thing for now. Obviously, we'll still talk about Scooby-Doo. That's gonna be uh, ever present on my channel forever now. But uh, I think I'm going to put that focus on the back burner and now make this channel a little more about me again and kind of let you guys see who I am more rather than, you know, who, what my love is for Scooby-Doo, so to speak, you know? So, because I know I have kind of become Ashton, the, the Scooby-Doo YouTuber, which is fine. It's great. You know, again, I love Scooby-Doo, but uh, I'm going through a chapter of me, and I want this chapter to uh, tell people and myself who I am, and, you know, not not what I am, but who I am. So, welcome, I guess, to this new, new chapter. We've already kind of discussed the new chapter of my life. But, uh, welcome to the new chapter of the channel, I guess, we'll say. Uh, again, not a whole lot is totally gonna change, but just, I guess what I'll say is this. Uh, expect more vlogs than anything right now. Uh, but don't, don't think I'm taking Scooby-Doo completely out of my channel. I'm not. Or anything else, really. You know, I'm still gonna have other types of videos and stuff, but you're gonna see a lot more vlogs than anything else for a while because... That's honestly the type of content I want to make right now. I just want to film. I just want to film life and whatever's going around. I don't want to plan out videos right now very much. I just want to... I just want to capture, you know, life's moments in these mini movies type thing, you know? So, yeah. Welcome to the vlogs. We're gonna, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna go places. We're gonna talk about things. You know, next week we're going to Park City, so that's gonna be great. Vlogs, we're going for a week, we're going for Halloween. And then I have doctor's appointments coming up at the end of the year that are gonna be pretty big. We're doing an, two different MRIs, we're doing different stress tests and this and that, so that's gonna be stuff, so. Yes, here we are. We're vlogging again. We're going to start vlogging quite a bit more on the channel so that you guys can
can get to know who I am a little more and I can, uh, you know, have this creative outlet again, but in a way that I originally wanted and want to do. So, it is currently Monday. Hey Siri, what's the date? It's Monday, October 18th, 2021. What he said. It's Monday, October 18th, 2021. What she said. Monday, October 18th. And I just got done babysitting, actually. Uh, my friends just headed to work. And now, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna head to the mall because I really need some more of the like wallflower smelly things from Bath and Body. And our Bath and Body just got redesigned to a white barn. And I want to go see it, and I need to go get those. So let's. Ooh, I'm dropping this. Ooh. <clears throat> Today's adventure. Let's go check out this white barn, the redesigned Bath and Body, and go see what that has in store. You know. So. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome to the vlogs. All right, let's go see what they did to this place. Apparently it's really pretty. That's what I'm hearing. I was gone for the opening. But Nianji, um, one of my friends who I live with, she works at the mall. And so obviously she saw it. She sees it like every day. Okay, okay, let's go. again oof people sitting next to me looking at me mm -hmm. okay so i actually I'm stopping at best buy first i like had this random thought um i've been okay here's the thing <laughs> for like my last few phones i've had battery cases and uh, you guys probably don't know because I've ever talked about it. I had to get a new phone recently because my old one just randomly decided to break like nothing was wrong with it and then all of a sudden it literally became unresponsive so I had to get a new phone and so I have the I got the 12 Pro Max the iPhone 12 Pro Max and for these phones they never made a battery case for these ones um, which, if I'm gonna start vlogging, I'm gonna be using my phone, at least until I can afford a new vlogging camera. So, if I'm gonna be using my phone to record a lot more, what they actually did instead of a battery case is they made, oh gosh, now someone is pulling up to me. Let's just wait. Yeah. Drive away, please! That was really awkward. So instead, what they did was, since they introduced MagSafe, which is basically a magnet in the phone to attach accessories, they made a MagSafe battery pack instead of a case. So I think I'm going to look at that and see about that. Because then I can just throw it on my phone for some extra juice, especially when I'm recording, especially like when we're out in Park City next week and like away from chargers and stuff. I think it'd be nice to just pop it on. So, we're gonna run here first. And then we'll, you know, go see what the beauty is at uh, is it Bath and Body. Is it White Bar now? I don't know what it's called. We're gonna find that out. Okay. <laughs> I get past the awkwardness. Get this out of the way of recording in public. But we got it. Got it. So I know a lot of people are gonna have words about this battery pack. I know it doesn't have the biggest battery. I know it doesn't charge very fast. Look. 
Trust me, I've done all the research on it. But I, I am a freak. I'm that person who's like, mm, ample ecosystem. Like, I'm, I'm just that person I am, okay? I will shamely admit, okay? I just like everything Apple being connected and working and stuff, so um, that's why I got Apples. I know there are cheaper options by Anchor and stuff. I know, okay? Okay, anyway, so maybe it doesn't come with a charge, actually. But, um, should we just, let's just open it. Let's just do it. So, we got a little pull tab we gotta peel off. You just pull that off. I gotta clean my card. And you just pull that out. And then it's right there. Ta-da! It only comes in white. That's a little note. Um, okay, a lot of people are saying too that this is actually more of a plastic feeling than a silicone, 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 however you want to say it. Okay, so then you just. And there's just some paperwork in there that we don't care about. Okay, yeah, it is a bit more plasticky but it still kind of has a silicon feel to it almost, you know? So this is, this is all it is. You just put it on the back of your phone and then it should just be an extra juice. Kind of what I'm wanting to do. Probably not logical. We'll see what happens, but I kind of want to act like this is a battery case, you know, and just kind of leave it on my phone and then like let it drain this first and then my phone's battery we'll see I'll, I'll probably get into kind of a groove with using it and stuff but as far as i know it doesn't come with a charge so this is useless at this moment which is unfortunate because my phone battery is actually getting kind of low but that's only because i didn't charge it last night it's not saying anything about the phone's battery itself just because I didn't charge it last night. And plus it is almost 4.30 in the afternoon. So I mean, it's like around 35%. So it's not horrible, but okay. Now the mall, let's go check out this white barn and um, bath the body. I don't even know what to call it. And go get a smelly for my room because boys, honestly, just humans in general, we stink after a while. It's just a fact of life, so my room's a little ripe. Mm. Okay. messy hair look but oh now this is just wind blown here it's not even like a style anymore it's just also speaking of hair the other day kind of funny random story I was out shopping 
kind of late at night. It was probably like nine-ish. I don't really know what I was looking for. But uh, someone was like kind of like walking by and whatever. It was actually a worker at the store. And <laughs> they saw my hair and they were like, well, he's gay. And I was just like, thank you for noticing. I feel so acknowledged. Anyway, so my hair is not purple color, it's gay color. Just, just so you know. All right, let's go home. All right, made it home. So, it is time to eat something. Here's a little thing, okay? Oh, also, I gotta show you which ones I got. This one. Here's a little thing. I've become depressed in the last few months. Let's just put it out there. Let's make this a normal thing to talk about. But yes, I've been depressed. And I am one that, like, when I'm stressed and stuff, I stop eating. I don't, like, stressy. I stress starve. So I lost, like, 13 pounds. See, I was, like, around 110 pounds before. And I got down to 97 pounds. I'm back up to, like, 104 right now. Anyway, so I gotta make sure I eat. I've eaten cereal and a cup of noodles today. I need something else. My stomach is actually telling me, yo, I need more food. So, uh, that's on the next agenda. But first, let me show you what I got, okay? I'm just gonna, uh, makeshift that there. Okay. So I got three smellies. So what these are, you guys don't know what these are at Bath and Body Works. Um, they're, they're, I think they're called wallflowers. At least that's what I've called them. But it's basically this, like, scent thing that you put into the wall. Uh, you plug it into an outlet. And then it just, like, it warms it up. So then the, the little scent stick can spray all the scentiness, you know, throughout. Anyway, so I have warm vanilla sugar. And this will be, you know, for the holidays, kind of uh, Christmas time. Which Christmas in this household is going up. November 1st. We've already decided because Kelson and I love Christmas. And that's the day we come back from Park City. So we said, as soon as we get back, Halloween is over. It is time for Christmas. Anyway, then I have my fall one, which is the perfect autumn. So, you know, this is my uh, one for the last little bit of October. Get the fall because again... When we get back, it's Christmas time. Then, this is one of my favorites. Uh, this is lavender vanilla. I love lavender, the smell of lavender. I've been a little banned from it because, see, lavender is supposed to make you feel relaxed and, like, kind of sleepy. I think I have a form of ADHD or ADD. I don't know, one of them. Because it does the exact opposite to me. Same with caffeine. See, so lavender makes me, like, Gives me energy, makes me hyper. Caffeine makes me tired. So, anyway, but yeah, so I got one of these. Ah, well. Uh, but we're gonna do, we're gonna do the, the autumn one for now. Um, and then I'll probably save the Christmas one till a little later into like November, December, you know, and do this one in between. Um, the one that I had in it, which honestly ran out like months ago at this point. Um, was like mahogany teak wood. It's kind of like a more masculine smell. I really like it. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, we're gonna do this one. Okay. Random thought as I'm taking this ibuprofen. Because I've had this for like since last night in the middle of the night anyway so anybody still get growing pains in their like adulthood i mean i know i'm only 24 but like i thought i'd be done with growing pains you know where like your leg hurts and like when you were younger you know you were always told oh that means you're growing it's your leg growing like you're... <laughs> that's why we call them growing pains i don't know i'd always call them a leg ache Anyway, does people still get them, or am I just, like, is my body just mad at me? Anyway, I'm taking this. Okay, so, you ever just, like, waiting for food to cook? And you just have, like, these random thoughts, you know? 
Anyway, so, wanted to talk to you guys, because I just want to discuss it, because, okay. So, I had never really watched The Twilight Zone much growing up. You know, I maybe seen, like, a little pieces here and there, maybe, like, in school and stuff. But it's a show that I've been wanting to watch. And I just don't do well with horror. I know it's not necessarily horror, but I just don't do great with scary things. Even though I watch Scooby-Doo. You know what? It's it's, its own thing, okay? <laughs> anyway, so I, I started watching it, okay? Uh, on a streaming platform, on Paramount Plus, I believe. And I watched one and a half episodes. One and a half episodes. Fell in love with it, like, instantly. So what did I do? That same day, too, what did I do? I went out and bought the entire series on DVD. All five seasons, 156 episodes. Anyways, I'm still in season one. I think I'm about on episode 20. Uh, anyway, guys, I want to know if you guys have seen The Twilight Zone. A any of it. Not even the whole series. Just any of The Twilight Zone. And if you have, let me know your favorite episodes and stuff. I want to talk about it because... I'm going through my Twilight Zone phase right now, and I need people to talk about it with. So please let me know if you have seen it, if you have, what are some of your favorite episodes? Uh, so far, let's see, some of my favorites that I've seen are like, uh, one for the angels I really liked. That was kind of the episode that sold me on the show. Um, I really liked The Lonely, um... Uh, I liked, uh, What You Need was really interesting. Um, Third From the Sun was an interesting one, too. The Hitchhiker was creepy. That episode was creepy. Uh, The Last Flight was an interesting one. That was the last one I've watched so far. So I'm, I'm currently on the Purple tes Testament. I'm on the Purple Testament. So, uh, yeah, anyway... Random thought of the day. Let's go see how the pizza's making. Yes, I'm making, I'm making like a frozen pizza. So when I had COVID back in May, you know, you kind of like aren't super, super appetite. Like you don't have a huge appetite, you know. Um, but one thing my sister actually got me were these frozen pizzas. And mm, I don't know. I just fell in love with them. They're very simple frozen pizzas, but they're so good. So let's see. Bunny. There's a little bunny right there. Ah, bye, bunny. I'm using my iPad now. So my phone's charging, but I just wanted to show you guys this. Also, look at that. No, I wasn't talking about this, but this is cool too. <laughs>